I want to ask you, which of the areas in technology right now are you most intrigued about from an investment perspective? Okay, well, I think it's uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin? I think, yeah, I think it's Bitcoin because I think Bitcoin really has the potential to, it and other virtual currencies, have the potential to transform the world pretty much the way the Internet did way back when. It's, uh, yeah, I've heard that one before. A, I mean, a lot of, of people are saying that. It's, Keep yeah, going. it's a way of um, all finance, all commerce, all everything can be transformed by Bitcoin. And it's like one abstraction past where we are today. So it used to be we'd trade shells for services, or we, and then it moved to gold for services, <laughs> and then it was... A, a note that says, I'll pay you gold for services, and that's when it started to get more Okay, more Tim, let me ask you, do you think it's Bitcoin in its current form as a currency, Bitcoin, or is it the technology behind Bitcoin that will eventually survive? Um, well, it turns out in any industry there's always some movement and there's a possibility that there are other types of coins that mm -hmm. become more prevalent. But most, most of the entrepreneurs, most of the... Um, boost companies, my son's uh, boost incubator, most of those companies are all building their infrastructure around Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. it, the reason I ask the question is Bitcoin has gotten so much negative publicity that you can't help but start to make the comparison to Napster. In other words, Napster uh, was doing a, a pretty great thing when it started mm -hmm. out, um, but it got saddled with a ton of legal lawsuits uh, and, and threats of people going to jail. I mean, if you think about it, kids were downloading and sharing music files and their parents were getting hit with lawsuits uh, that could potentially bankrupt them. So consequently, the industry started to shift away from that and they found a legal way to do this. I mean, you look at Bitcoin and uh, the association it's had with things like Silk Road, for example, and uh, the extreme fringe libertarian groups. And I only ask, Will Bitcoin, with all this negative uh, baggage, be able to survive all that? Yeah, I, I think it will. I mean, the Internet itself had the same kind of weird baggage around it. They, there was pornography going across on the Internet, and there were issues of security, <laughs> like mm -hmm. we talked about earlier. And, uh, and there were many issues as the Internet was getting built. Mm -hmm. And as, that, as it, we, we got more and more comfortable with it, it became a bigger and bigger part of our lives, and I think the same thing's going to happen with Bitcoin. Well, how much so, money are you or your son uh, investing in it right now? Um, well, I have some Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and I have investments in a number of Bitcoin companies, uh, and I think that they, that in general, uh, and they're trying all different s sorts mm -hmm. of things. There, one's an insurance company. One is a way to use Bitcoin to buy things off. Uh, off the web, anything you need, mm -hmm. just use Bitcoin. One, uh, one is actually uh, manning a Bitcoin uh, uh, ATM. Uh, there, I mean, there the only reason I ask is because, you know, reasons. you, Mark Andreessen, uh, Fred Wilson, a number of uh, people in the VC space have, have touted this and said this is, this is great. Um, but then when Bloomberg uh, investigated the, the total number of dollars that are actually being put to work here, it came up with about $110 million, um, which Still in the scheme small. of things, yeah, it yeah. seems pretty small if yeah. there's all this enthusiasm. Yeah, the, the, the total value of all Bitcoin is about 7 or $8 billion. So it's sort of a a good successful business uh, in the eyes of a sort of a, the venture community. Is the volatility now, ever going to change? Uh, yeah, I think eventually it will find its place. Uh, it's, but because it's going to be volatile for a long time. But yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, it's a lot less volatile than, say, the, uh, the currency in Argentina or the currency in... Well, that's an interesting point. I mean, so if you're someone who's living in a country that's dealing with crazy fluctuations in your own currency, then something like Bitcoin is in that comparison going to look... feels stable. Well, <laughs> not exactly <laughs> stable, but uh, maybe a hell of a lot better than some of these other currencies. At least there's but hope. If you're, if you're, you know, you've got the U.S. dollar, um, you don't have to worry about a 30% price fluctuation in the span of a week or two. Yeah, that's true. And, and I think it's, it's going to bounce around for a while. Mm -hmm. And I think people are, uh, it's been somewhat stable between 400 and 600 for quite a while.